We're doing exterior window cleaning here using our five step window cleaning process. Okay, step one is to pre brush. You're going to pre brush the sills all the way around. Okay, the second step is to pre wash the window. Step three is spot removal. Step four is to squeegee the window. And then step five is to detail the window. All right, so step one is pre-brushing the window. That does involve removing the screen um, if there is a screen on the window. So I'm going to find where the springs are on the screen, okay? You can feel that they're right there. I'm then going to heighten the window. I'm going to push on the spring into the window using my thumb and my tool extractor here, my screen extractor. I'm then going to use that to get it inside the window frame and pop it out. I'm then going to use my other thumb to push in and use my finger here to leverage the window the screen window screen out, okay? I'm going to put that down. I'm going to shut the window if it's open and using my tool again you could push on the frame here and actually shut the window completely. You could see how dirty this window is all the way around. Instead of getting all this wet and having it run down the house, I'm going to want to pre-brush all this off. You can see that leaving. Okay, and I still have my screen extractor in my hand, so if I have to get stubborn debris, it can move out there. Okay? I'm then going to do the sills, put my tool away there, I'm going to brush all the sills, getting as much debris off as I can. So pre-brushing is done. Now is to the time to pre-wash our window. Um, in the former stages, I didn't mention, always have your bucket on you, okay? Always have it on you and have a mini bottle of Dawn dish soap in the bucket. Not a giant bottle of dish soap, okay? And not a thimble size. This size, small Dawn dish soap bottle. Always carry your bucket with you on exterior window cleaning, okay? So that you always have a lot of water on your mop here. So now I'm going to pre-wash the window, okay? I'm going to actually wash the frames all around. Wash the whole thing. I'm going to take my trash towels here. And I'm going to wash all the frames down, getting off any heavy debris around the sides of the glass as well. See, now I'm washing, wiping the sills out, and I don't have much debris because I pre brushed this debris off, okay? I've now pre-washed the window. All right guys, now is the third stage of spot removal. And again, this whole window should probably take you maybe a minute and a half to do, but I'm doing it stage by stage. And not every window is as, uh, as much, this, this window's been a while without cleaning, so it's a perfect example. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was the front hook here. You can see how I just pre-washed the window. I have my unused towels back here, and this one is already really wet from this sill, okay? From these sills. Um, you can see how it's really dirty already. This is all the stuff that won't be dripping down somebody's house, and it won't be on your mop or your squeegees, okay? so. Where I want to put that one is right here, so I can continue using that one until it's completely 
uh, soiled. So let me show you quickly again how much water. This is kind of muddy water, but um, when you start cleaning exterior windows, you want to get your mop completely wet, and then you want to put this is this says simply clean, non concentrated. I, I actually refilled this bottle with uh, four times concentrated. Okay. So we have, uh, it's like four times concentrated Dawn. Okay, that's what we use. We don't use this unconcentrated stuff. So with this mop very wet for exterior cleaning only, we're gonna take this and put about that much on it, okay? Then we put this back in our bucket. So you can keep re-dipping this in the water. I haven't put too much solution in the water. So when you keep re-dipping it, it'll uh, water it down just a little bit, okay? And now for pre-washing, I have enough lubrication on the wand to uh, actually use my blades and steel wool, okay? So let's grab some steel wool here. And so what I'm gonna do now is wet this and then I'm just gonna steel wool this entire piece of glass, okay? Now notice over here, you don't have as much bug spots. That's because there's been a screen in this window. It's kept out the bugs, okay? So we only need to polish down the piece of glass that does not have a screen in it. Okay, so that's nice and wet. Now I'm going to polish this down. So while I'm polishing it down, I have two fingers on the side that are brailing the window. They're sensing the little marks on the window, okay? And you can feel them. And with these two fingers, they're adding pressure to the steel wool, okay? So really, I'm not feeling too many marks, so I can actually just kind of braille the whole window and feel for my marks, okay? And if a window hasn't been done for a while, just polish the whole thing. This glass will last a long time when it's polished like this. Okay, I'm brailing the whole thing. I'm trying to feel for marks. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to do this window as well. So when I'm going up and down here with the wand, I'm looking for any spot that stays still, like this one. I'm just going to steel wool it off. Okay, quick rail of the glass. I feel a mark up here. Okay, looks good. Okay, so I've put my steel wool back here. It's wet, it's gonna be, it's gonna get rusty pretty quick. So this will pretty much be only used for this job. Now when I put it back here, I wanna keep it separate from the other steel wool, okay? Just dry, dry over here, wet over here, okay? And a reminder, we all only use four zero steel wool on windows, okay? So don't go out and buy your own steel wool. Use the stuff I give you. <clears throat> okay, now it's time to clean the window, okay? See, that's a clean piece of glass right there. It's like cleaning a bathroom mirror. It's so, it's so polished and ready for cleaning. There's not any obstructions. There's no dirt on the edges. I could just wet it. And all you have on the window now is Dawn dish soap and water, okay? So now I'm gonna get my towel out and whatever size squeegee fits the window, I'm going to pre-rag the edges and then I'm just gonna extract. Wipe the ledges down. pre-rag here I'm going to 
gonna wipe my blade down just to keep keep the life of it better. Wipe down any remaining stuff. Now this is a metal shed here, <clears throat> but if you had stucco on this wall and these things were dripping down, you would see marks. So what I would do is, uh, if I had water in my squirty bottle, what you can actually do is, if it starts leaking down and it's, there's dirt leaking down, you just take your squirty bottle and you just spray it down like that, and then that'll that'll uh, turn out pretty clean. So I have washed the window. The final step, step five, is to detail the window. Uh, I could use one to two of these rags for an entire job because. As you can see, there's nothing on this glass now. There's, I believe I left a little Nike swoosh mark here. Um, I could wipe that down if it doesn't leave lint. If it leaves lint, you may want to use a smaller blade and uh, redo it there. I'll show you that in a minute. So now you're just going to rag any marks that you actually left. It's important to remember that if you've pre-ragged the window, you're really not going to have anything to detail, barely any, okay? And as your skill progresses, you'll get, you'll get better and better at it. <clears throat> so far, part of the um, fifth step of detailing is to make sure that this window is completely clean, okay? I'm going to look up at the top right. I'm going to look at the top left. Then what you got to do, if you look down at the window, you're going to have a dark background. <clears throat> you want to have a sky background when checking your glass, okay? So I need to duck down and actually get the sky reflecting off the bottom left side, then the bottom right side. So now I can see the whole window with the sky as the background. And now I've seen that there's no marks on this window at all. Okay, same thing here. Sky on the right, sky on the left. Sky on the right, sky on the left. And I've checked the entire window, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's say I left a little mark right here, okay? Or I tried to rag it off and I just have one little mark here, okay? Well, if there's a mark here, what you want to do is bring your window down to here, okay? Your window is now this big, okay? This is a troubleshoot. Your window is now this big, okay? You don't have to rewash all that glass again. Now, because my window is this big and this wide, I'm going to go down in a blade. I'm going to go to my 12 inch, okay? I'm just going to rewash my small window here around the mark I made. I'm not even touching the edges, okay? Because I don't want to have to rag again or detail again. Now, using the same uh, maneuver I did with the big squeegee, I'm going to get the squeegee here, and like an arrow shooting out of the woods, you're just going to shoot it straight up out, okay? Now, it's going to leave a streak for about an inch. Then that streak's going to dry off, and that's when you start your squeegeeing, okay? Down here. Now you're going to come up and over, down here, and I'm just going to bring it up to a lock here, okay? And I kind of left a little mark there again. Coming over here, because I didn't polish this whole window, I have just a couple small marks up here, okay? Let me show you how to get those off without having to redo the whole window. Making sure your hands are dry, take a very small piece of steel wool, dry steel wool, okay? Never use dry steel wool to polish a whole window. Small little marks, you're not going to leave any scratches. I'm going to get that right on my finger here. Okay, put it right on the mark without touching any of the window. I'm just going to take, buff it out right there. Okay, I'm going to move over here, buff out that little mark. And that mark is kind of stubborn, okay? So I'm going to just 
flick the steel wool down, let it go to the ground. So this is where my little wrist razor comes in. Last resort, okay? We don't want to use this all the time. If someone ever make, tells you that you scratch their windows, just tell them we only use this for small little marks, okay? That's it, just barely touch the window. If I need to scrape a lot of marks, there's a little mark there, okay, and it doesn't leave any residue on the window. <clears throat> if I'm gonna scrape a lot of marks off the window, you're gonna wanna re-wet the window and do it while there's uh, lubrication on the glass, okay? But just little marks like this, you could just touch up, okay? And when you're doing that, it's a straight, straight direction only. Don't go back and forth, okay? Straight direction only. You wanna wipe off the blade, maybe with a dry cloth here, okay? Keep these blades really dry because they rust quickly. So if you keep them nice and dry, they'll last a couple jobs. Okay, back on there. And any other touch up I need, rewipe re the sill if I need to. Okay, so the window is completely clean and polished on the exterior. Okay, so I've washed the window, I cleaned the window. Um, I haven't really cleaned this screen, so I don't have the right brush yet. Again, I have this one, and you want to use a, a horsehair brush or uh, a screen washing mop. But I'm going to show you how to put the screen back in the window now. Okay? It's the same way no matter what height the window is. If you get up here at the top and do it that way, when you're up on a ladder, you're going to be way down here on the window. So you're going to need to know the right way to put it in every time. <clears throat> I'm going to find the top spring. I'm going to put the highest spring in its channel first. Okay? By doing that, it gives room to the left side to somehow go in. Okay, but you can see it's not going in yet. So I'm going to want to use my leverage down here to push that spring in. Okay, and then until I get some kind of contact in there, okay? Now I'm pushing it up and to the right and finally the left side came in. Okay, using my leverage here, I'm not going to push in the middle of the bars ever. These will break really easily, okay? Never push in the middle of the bars. Using my leverage here, I'm pushing straight up on the bar. It's tucked into that corner, and now I got my right spring in. Okay, so your, I'm at my lower spring. You get your top spring in first, your lower spring in, and now you have three corners in. All you're left with is this one, okay? So you could be way down here. You're just gonna wanna push that one in. If it's not going in, you wanna use your screen tool, okay? push that spring in and this window should slide in pretty easily. <clears throat> if it doesn't slide in that easily, okay, I'll give you a quick example. I'm going to push this in with the screen tool, then I'm going to take my thumb and hold it in place. Then I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to leverage it in with my screen tool again okay it's actually gripping on the bottom so leverage it in with your screen tool if you have a bottom sill that's gripping it press up on the top and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out so on a reminder again we use this paint can opener um, I got a newer one here you can see how it has a pretty nice edge to it, okay? Uh, most, a lot of guys use um, <clears throat> either spatulas or screwdrivers. We use these because they're curved, okay? So you have control. If I'm trying to take this screen out and it pops off and goes like this, it's going to be rounded so it has less possibility of damaging the screen. The other thing is, is it almost eliminates your possibility of damaging, of even popping off because it has such a nice grip on the back, okay? So I grip the back of the screen now. Now I just pull out. And if for some reason, see, for some reason it grips off, it just swings back to me. It doesn't release and gouge, okay? I've never gouged the screen with these. 
Okay, so again, we've, for our window cleaning steps, we've pre-brushed the window, we've pre-washed the window, we've done spot removal, then we squeegeed the window, then we did the final detailing. So again, you can move at a pretty high pace. Uh, some windows we've done maybe two months ago or three months ago, and they don't have as much debris. You can sometimes skip the pre-washing, you could skip some of the steps, um, but you need to always be reminded and thinking of each of these steps to bring a window to its final shine. And then what you wanna do, if you wanna get a raise or make more, you wanna, you wanna show your supervisor or your lead that you're continually moving through these processes because when this window's done, the company stops making money, which means you stop making money. Well, you don't stop making money, but the company stops making money when this window's done. Now, if you're gonna move from this window to the next window, it's productivity stops in between these windows, okay? So the sooner you could finish that window at a perfect state and get to this window as quickly as you can and start the five-step process all over again, the more money you will make per hour as your lead or your supervisor recommends a raise for you. Um, so always be remembering these five steps and do every one of these steps. Check the window, make sure everything's off the window, move to the next window, and uh, yeah, that's that's your way to success on cleaning the window.